And welcome, welcome, one and all, to our little Monster Hunter World playthrough. Sorry, I kind of <laughs> had to be... You can't really pause this game, it's just always online, so I had to kill the uh, little bugs there that kept attacking me. But we are on our way to finding, sighting a gate Gyros, a great Gyros, I don't know what that means. But that's what we're doing right now. Come on. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we, that's the, that's the goal today, trying to find that. We just hit, hunted a Rattlebon, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we are trying to find, um, a great Gyros is the other part of it, of this mission before we, uh, end here, so... We gotta find some clues here that will lead us there. What is this? Oh, just dung in general? Okay. I thought it would be something, you know, worthwhile. Um, yeah, last episode went a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I didn't think that thing was going to be that tough to fight. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh, interesting. <laughs> to say the least. pretty strong it was like a armadillo thing but also like a crab sort of too i don't know it was it was weird i really like the uh i gotta hand it to them they really do a good job in this game of making some really interesting combinations of animals and stuff um as far as what the monsters are i think they do a really good job with that yeah we're gonna just climb we're gonna just climb those bugs are assholes um but yeah, I think they do a really good job of um, combining really interesting enemies or animals into one to make the different creatures that you find in the game. I hate these bugs so much. Stop it. It's so irritating. Because you can't do anything over here at all. You can't do anything unless the, and, the, and they come keep on attacking you and then they just keep coming. They don't fucking stop. It's so <laughs> irritating. God. Yeah, I've been enjoying my time with this game. Like I said, it's it's a little bit different of a game. I you know I'm usually I'm used to a lot of like you know, uh, what am I trying to say here? A lot of uh, story driven games. You know that have a lot of narrative to them and everything. And um, this is you know as as impressive as most games are in story. This is impressive in terms of scale and overall design. I think its story is like okay. I don't hate it. Another Radabon? I don't want to fight another Radabon. I just want to walk past it. Like I don't even have any trouble with you, bro. I won't even attack you. I just want to continue living my life, man. Um, and that's what I really like about this game is that yeah, the story is not like the most super engaging and exciting, but it's still really well. Like, it, it, they still, like, make it somewhat interesting enough to follow along with, you know? But they didn't really have to do that. That was the cool thing, is that they didn't really have to do that by any means. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I'm really sorry. Stupid allergies. In case you guys ever, ever want to, please just, just... It's a it's a treat having allergies. Let me tell you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fucking stupid bugs. So I don't know how I'm supposed to track this ge great Gyros thing or whatever the hell. Oh my God, Radaban, stop! I don't I don't have any problems with you. You can destroy those bugs all day long though you go ahead buddy <clears throat> yeah I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go for this at all I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly as it were um let's see here so I'll oh, put up another area oh, that's nice
Yes, I hope this isn't just aimless walking around simulator for this episode. Because <laughs> I don't quite know what it is that I'm doing here and what I'm looking for. I know it's that giant snake thing that was in the cutscene. Where is this leading me to? Okay. Let's go down here. I don't think I've gone down here yet. We. Is this the effluvium? Be careful not to touch it. All right, that's fine. I won't. I'm, I don't want any problems. Ah, oh, more of these stupid bugs. I hate them. There's got to be good stuff down here, though. And probably some clues as to where this snake thingy is. There it is. Okay, bye. base and take a break. Bye bye. <laughs> This should be, yeah, this should be the end of it then. Cool. Alright. I know I got some good stuff from fighting that Rattlebond thing. <laughs> My stupid face, God. Huh? It's you two. Um, have we met? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. You were out cold when I found you. <laughs> I'm from the First Fleet. You folks are lucky to be alive. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hang on. She must be the one who saved us. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Just glad you're still in one piece. Fifth Fleet, am I right? What are you doing out here? Actually... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This is from Zora Magdaros. I'll see what I can find. I've spent years delving into this valley's secrets. Okay. I'm starting to understand a thing or two. Now it's your turn. Learn all that you can about this place. Next time we meet, we can compare notes. Sound good? Yes. We're on the job. Good. People's mouths are weird in this game.
Awesome. Cool. So it looks like this person has been like studying this area for a while and might would knows a lot about it and would be able to tell us if Zora Magdaros has been through. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I'm going to actually head back to the armor place and see what new armor I can make with the Rattleband stuff. I mean, clearly I'll have to upgrade it a few times, but, um, because I have a full, I think, a fully upgraded set of Anjanath right now, but. Hmm. Said further, the effluvium levels will be more toxic, but that's going to be a problem, <laughs> is it? You should prepare before going down to the bottom of the Rotten Veil. There might not be any turning back once we're there. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's go to Astera. And we'll go to the workshop. There we go. Alrighty. Cool. So yeah, we're going to check out the uh, little workshop here and see what stuff we can make from the Rotobon stuff that I just picked up and uh, go from there. Hopefully that'll be a good amount of stuff. That I can upgrade as far as like, or create or craft or whatever as far as armor and weapons. We shall see. If anything, I can make something for my palico. Hee <laughs> hee. He be so cute. Hee hee hee. There we go. Alright. Mm. Armor. Ooh, Lumu. Whatever this is. Can almost make all this stuff. Is there a compare button? I thought there was a compare. Oh yeah, that Rotobon stuff is good. What is it good against, though? Versus water, it looks like. Okay. And this is also pretty good against water. Weird. Okay. Alright, let's look at the Palico equipment real quick. Can't make them that just yet, but I make them the little... That bell. I can make them this armor. Water. Yeah, might as well. This new armor looks cool, so. <laughs> nice! I don't think that's as good as his. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep up with the bear off thing, so. Alright, so let's go to Forge, Wapons. Tracks. What I want is, uh, well, there's that Jagras X. Um, I think there's one that I currently have. It's the uh, the Familia. So I want this thing that it upgrades into, but I don't even know what that is yet. I don't even found the stuff for it. So, alrighty, so not a ton I can do, but that's okay. Let's see if I can upgrade any equipment here. No. Alright, doesn't look like I can upgrade anything just yet here, so... 
Alright, cool. Well, at least got some new armor for my little kitty, so that's pretty good. Alrighty, well, I think we're going to cut the episode a little shorter today than the other episode. Sorry, that one was a little bit longer. Not sorry, I guess people are probably pretty excited if it's a longer episode. Um, it's harder to gauge with this game because I can't just pause it and stop it. It's an online o only game, so like you can't really pause it. It just kind of does its thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching. I had a wonderful time playing. If you had a great time with your sergeant today, enlist, become a soldier today, click that subscribe button. Also, click the notifications bell. You'll get to know as soon as I have a new video up, you'll get a notification sent to you. It's actually one of the only ways you will know because YouTube's algorithm is so screwed up. Um, if you really like the video, click a little thumbs up there. It really helps out with the social nature of things. Share around the link if you'd like to. But as always, until next time, at ease, soldiers. Sergeant Dub Dub. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.